First off, Dana has a test that every guy goes through before they even go out on a first date, let alone a second date. And now she's bringing this guy over to her house. And I go, okay, so this guy's got to be something kind of special. So as I watch these interactions between the two of them, with his friends, with total strangers, a bunch of words came to mind. And it's, it, it wasn't a short list, so I had, to, I had to write them down. Integrity. Caring. Character. Confidence. Courage. And one of the most important things, which you heard several times today, is faith. Frank is a man of faith. I searched the world, but it couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise and treasures that fail never enough. Then you came along. Just my <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Honey, you look so amazing. <laughs> Just it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> look at you. Frank and Dana met on the kickball field. <laughs> Neither one of them were regular members of the team, but were asked to participate because of the inability of the regular players to be present. It was a chance meeting. Or was it? <laughs> what were the odds of both of them being at the same game at the same time, under the same circumstances? Well, actually, where God is concerned, I'd say it was pretty good. Frankie, <laughs> as I have expressed to you before, I entered that first date feeling drained. My cup was empty, but I left with a cup that was overflowing from that very first date and every day after. You've continued to fill my cup with love, joy, support, understanding, and strength. Through communication, respect, and God's intervention, we've nurtured an instant natural connection into a steadfast foundation. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Dana Catherine Folk, as we stand here with family and friends, as strangers in love, before God, and in complete beauty, I would like to express that this does not compare to the beauty we will share when we stand together in heaven, before the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I look forward to that moment. I vow to continuously fill your cup. I vow to communicate with you in the good and the bad while maintaining respect for you. I vow to always help you see God's purpose in the things life throws at us and to point you back to Him. I vow to try to control my emotions when I'm hangry. <laughs> but above all, I vow to always be yours, to love and honor you more each day with my heart, mind, body, and soul until the Lord calls us home. And that's the amazing thing about Dana, is she's so rock solid in her faith um, and her trust in God. And she took the leap of faith to move over here, not knowing at the time that God was really calling her to meet her future spouse, Frank. To Frank, 
this is for you. Um, when Dana was first telling me about you, she went on about how you entering her life was so unexpected. I think we've heard a lot about that from Andrew. Um, but you were absolutely everything that she had ever prayed for in a spouse. Um, she talked about how genuine and kind you were. Um, she told me how you can light up a room and how you give your shirt off your back to a stranger. Um, she mentioned how much you really cared for her and how she felt beyond loved and adored by you. And then I met you six months ago in person, and I realized that she was really being modest when she was describing you. Um, I've never really met anyone more genuine or kind than you. Not only can you light up a room, but you can make anyone in that room feel loved and included. Frankie, continue that act of that service, giving your all. And Dana, you've done the same. Like I've seen the just the simple fact that you um, gave your your vows in Spanish. That shows a lot. That it's just a little thing, but it shows that you know you go above and beyond. And you guys are truly going to have a great marriage because of those little things, and that you guys are just there to serve each other. And I'm just really happy. And I know you guys. Uh, I just can't wait to see you guys develop your your future together, your family, and to be part of it. I love you guys. Te doy este anillo en el nombre de Dios, como símbolo de todo hemos prometido, mm -hmm. <laughs> y todo lo que compartimos. Oh, honey. <laughs> Let us pray.